We're here at Web Summit the list of Long, and one of the fantastic presentations we saw today, which floored us, was Austin uh, Russell from uh, Luminar Technologies, and he basically gave us a glance of the future. Austin, I thought you made a joke when you showed the current versions of the LiDAR technology. I mean, that was a complete, incredibly bad picture. That Surely that wasn't right. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think it just goes to show that, you know, you never really see these raw data representations. That's the kind of stuff that no one will ever want to show you because it looks really, really bad. It was know? really, I mean, I mean, come on, that is the Google the Google car has that kind of LiDAR technology which used to cost 70,000 and which showed only 40 meters ahead. Bad pictures. Well, there's a reason why a lot of these autonomous cars, if you notice, like for example, drive really slowly or very cautious, and ultimately the reason why they have all these backup drivers that are ready to take over the wheel at any given moment or remote monitoring. But those are the $10,000 LiDAR systems uh, which we, people are currently using? Uh, yeah, so I mean, in, in the case of uh, what you're seeing up there, and that's actually many tens of thousands, even $85,000 for what people are, are currently using. Okay, now after boring us to tears with these horrible lighter pictures, <laughs> you came with your own product, which was an incredibly smooth 3D camera, which went all over the place. Is that for, and that only has one, la one laser and one receiver, yep. and that is for real? Yeah, absolutely. This, that's what we spent the past five years, you know, 250 people and uh, really just developing a fundamentally you know, breakthrough technology by building all the components from the ground up to achieve this, you know, orders of magnitude better performance. Okay, so how big is that light? You didn't show it, but how big is the lighter from you currently? Uh, so for our initial units that we're getting out to customers, it's about, you know, this big. Uh, so, you know, it's... Uh, and it's moving or is it solid? Um, so it's not the, uh, you know, the quote unquote solid state, you know, part, part of that, you know, hype that's recently been It is circling, it is turning around. So, so it's not, it's not circling. Um, you know, we have a specific scanning mechanism that scans the beam over the field of view really, really fast. Um, you know, mechanically, but in an extremely reliable and repeatable way. And so it doesn't need a lot of maintenance and, uh, and it's also, it's not expensive to manufacture. Yeah, absolutely, and that's uh, you know there's a big difference between spinning uh, you know like a 40 pound system around in a circle and you know having something that can have a, a very lightweight, reliable scanning mechanism that's purpose built for the automotive industry. And you know it's extremely easy to be able to build because we no longer have to have something where you have to manually align you know tens or hundreds of different optical parts inside each device. You yeah, because scan. currently very good later I have 64 beams. Yeah, exactly. So normally you need 64 lasers to get those 64 beams. We can get 64 beams out of a single laser, single receiver, and best of all, even concentrate that resolution where it matters most. So we can focus it to the areas that matter. In the case, most of the time, you know, we default to the horizon where you know, the image is. But we can, we can change that dynamic. Okay, then, uh, then we have a couple of the nice questions. When? When is your laser? I mean, you've now work, you have 450 people working in the company. Uh, 250. And 250 people working in the company. When is the product coming to the market? So it's actually already on the market in limited quantities in, for autonomous test fleets with some of the top autonomous vehicle programs yeah. and you know big uh, automotive OEMs out there. But uh, you know, we're ramping up our production, kicking off a 10,000 unit run at the end of this year to be able to scale up uh, according to customers' test fleets and you know looking at producing millions of units um, shortly thereafter. Surely, 2020. So you know, lo looking at those kinds of like hundred thousand, billions of units volume starting in 2019. Okay. Now, uh, what is the price going to be? The the development of the price of the of the later. So you know, as a, I mean, approximately plus or minus fifty percent. Uh, well, of course, there, there's there's two different things here. One is uh, what it costs you to make, and two is ultimately what you charge. Um, yeah, you know, I know what it costs. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, you know, as you can imagine, it's it's a lot more cost effective to be able to produce when you only have a single laser and a single receiver. I, you know, I'm for the design and it's easy to manufacture. But I think, you know, frankly, there's been a huge discussion around cost, uh, you know, rather than... Is this an introduction that you're not going to tell me? I just want to know, yeah, 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 is it a $10,000 thing or a $1,000 thing or a $5,000 or $50,000? Yeah, uh, we're not able to disclose the cost of what the you know, customers are, are paying today. But as you, like I said, as you can imagine... But is it more like $10,000 or more like $1,000? Uh, it, it, it's more... For us to be able to produce, yeah. you can, I mean, you can do the math. It's a 64 of the components and 64 times cheaper. Yeah. You know, but uh, you know, from that from that standpoint, uh, 
Yeah, don't, don't have anything specific. <laughs> okay. When will the prices be, uh, you know, known? At uh, well, will that be next year or something like that? Because yeah, I mean, uh, I think you know, yeah, we'll be looking at. You know, okay, I really don't care. I mean, you're gonna mil make millions of it, so then you're going to make it cheap uh, anyway. Well, well the, the, imp the important thing is, is that uh, you know, different applications can support different types of pricing markets associated with this. Because the thing is that there's been a huge trend, you know, around just trying to develop this like magical fifty-dollar lidar solution that you know can plug and play in any yeah. car and like bail a bunch of these companies out of this whole autonomous vehicle. Yeah. Right? But the truth is. We need quality. Yeah, we need yeah. quality. Yeah, we need quality. Yeah. That, that, uh, above all, because it doesn't matter what it costs if your autonomous car doesn't get you from point A to point B alive. Fair enough. Okay, yeah. fine. We'll wait for the price. Yeah. How much money was invested in your company? So you know, we've raised uh, thirty-six million. You know, in capital so far. We did. We announced that when coming out of stealth earlier this year. Um, you know, uh, from a number of sources. You know, we're also. Uh, generating revenue from, from the company itself. Yeah, a little profit. bit, okay, so, so 36. Hey, and then you said that all the major players who basically are in, into autonomous driving vehicles are using LADAR, except uh, there's one guy, you know, this Elon Musk, which thinks that video is uh, is good enough. Is that still, what, what is he thinking? Is he on drugs or something? Well, the big question is good enough for what? Uh, you know, and, you know, if you, it, it's certainly good enough to be able to provide uh, advanced assisted driving features, you know, like ADAS, uh, you know, related products. Yeah, no, but, he, but th that's not his ambition. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think, I uh, bought a Tesla Model uh, X with eight cameras. Yeah. It's supposed to bring my kid to school, you know, in three or four years, without me being there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. Think, well, I think it was supposed to do that as like soon as 2019. Uh, you know, I, I, I think. Um, yeah. You know, of course, there's still. Here's the thing: is that it's already a practically impossible problem using even the best eighty-five thousand dollar, you know, like top of the line hardware that's been commercially deployed. Yeah. Much less when you take that out of the picture. Yeah. You know, I mean. No, he wants to do it with eight cameras. He says that's good enough. We can do it with our eyes yeah, without yeah. problems. It, the cameras are better than our it, eyes. It, it's certainly good enough to get, like I said, a, a, you know, a couple of nines or a few nines in terms of solving the problem, but not nearly enough to get those ten nines to get that safe than human level performance, at least in this, you know, in the next handful of decades. I love the competition of the ideas. Austin, thank you very much. It looked amazing.